Hey all my family and friends, thanks for tuning in once again. So I just want to bring you all an update on what's going on right now and just kind of share some of my thoughts and things that's happening, some updates. So let's see here. I'll figure out the title after I finish this video. So today is August 24th, 2018. As of right now, my time is, what time is it? Let's get this together. 10.59, 10.59, 11 o'clock p.m. So, very long day today. Worked, went to the gym, which, check out my gym video because I do have an update for my physical health and workout for today. Um, and then after that, came home, um, got myself together, cleaned myself up to go to a birthday dinner tonight. Um, special shout out to Stephanie. Happy birthday to you. Thank you for the invite tonight to Cheesecake Factory. Um, I really enjoyed the fellowship. And also with that, you all, um, I did the impossible today. I absolutely did the impossible today. I spent a whopping $8.63 at Cheesecake Factory. I don't remember ever being able to do that. $8.63, people, let me know if you ever was able to spend less than $8.63 at Cheesecake Factory. I honestly can never remember a time I spent less than $20 or $16 at Cheesecake Factory. But... I somehow did it, and I thank you, Lord, for making a way for me to spend only $8.63 Cheesecake Factory. So after that, I left, and I decided to do some Ubering tonight. And the thing about that was in three, no, in an hour, in an hour and a half, I did, I made... $31 in an hour and a half. Not too shabby, right? Not bad at all. Um, I went from Virginia Beach Town Center to Little Creek, Norfolk, then Little Creek, Norfolk, to back to Town Center, then Town Center to Waterside. And to be honest with you all, it is lit in the Hampton Roads area. It is so crowded. There are so many people out tonight, this Friday night, between Norfolk and Virginia Beach. Like, I don't know how it is in the other cities in Hampton Roads, but those cities are just so busy right now. They're absolutely busy. So when I dropped these two guys off at Waterside, it was just, it was hard. Like, it, I don't know what was going on. I did not get the memo that there was some type of event happening. I guess it was an event happening. And it was so crowded. It was so crowded. So I dropped these dudes off. I turned my app off. And I said, you know what? I'm thankful for the $31. Yes, of course, I could definitely easily make so much more money tonight. Honestly, I, I could have made... Sorry, guys. My eyes... I could honestly probably could have made between $80 and $100 tonight. Just thinking about that. Like, I, I definitely could have made a lot of more, a lot more money tonight. But, you know, I've been out all day today. I've been working this week, working out, um, church. And I just was like, I don't have time for the anxiety. Like, I just start feeling anxious like I feel like this anxiety was like coming like over me like when I was in Norfolk after I dropped those guys off I'm like uh-uh like I am not I'm not dealing with these people from this event like because what happens when you when you uber when there's like like concerts or huge like events or festivals or whatever people want to call them it's like people get like they like dislo they they get this dislocation about themselves. Like they don't remember where they are. They don't know where they are. Um, they can't meet you where they need to meet you. And it's like you're just in traffic and you're just surrounded by people. 
it's just like you spend just as much time finding the people than in the trip itself it's a hot mess it's a hot mess and honestly i am personally thankful for those of you that have taken the smart way out if you you know if you have been drinking and whatever you know i really do thank you for taking the better route and um deciding to get an uber but i i'm not about that life i'm not about that life like i like pick, picking up people to their little you know um dinners or friend's house or whatever airports or whatever something simple but these huge events and concerts and people be having it's just too much y'all it's just too much and I'm just not about that life. I'm just not about that life. So I went home. I'm right now. I'm in a parking lot of my apartment complex. And um, sister girl is chilling right now. And as I was driving home, I just felt that my days of Ubering is slowly coming to an end. And I know that some of you are probably be very, very surprised about this. But I, I I think that I'll probably end up Ubering even less than what I'm doing now. Um, just because I'm just so worn out of my everyday normal life. And yes, I need the extra money. Of course I need the extra money. But I'm going to have to just, you know, hope and pray... Um, that these doors can open up for YouTube and uh, podcasting and something else on the side because this Ubering stuff, like, I, I enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy it. I have convinced other people to do it, but, um, I'm just like 11 something at night right now dealing with these crazy folks in the Hampton Roads. And then on top of that. People don't know how to drive. Like when you got when when it's busy like this, people want to be cutting you over. People want to be cutting like four or five lanes all at one time. It's just too much, and um, I I just I just find my time with dealing with Ubering coming to a close. I don't know when exactly, but I have been doing Uber for a whole year. And three months and I have been very satisfied with the service um, but we shall see what happens um, I'm just gonna have to budget my money um, more so um, of course when I get really low and I really need to go out I'll go out and make you know I'll still keep it open you know if emergency happens or whatever but um, it, it's it's a nice just supplement to help out with gas and extra food and your little small bills like your phone bill and stuff like that. But um, I was just feeling some type of way tonight about this whole Uber thing, and um, it's coming to a close. It's coming to a close, and um, I'm gonna continue to um work on you know things that I I found a new passion for my hobbies with you know of course creating videos um, for YouTube and Facebook and um, doing my podcast and so I'm gonna leave you all with this video and then stay tuned because I have another video I want to share with you all about um, what's been happening with the whole social media scheme of things and uh, what's been taking place so for all of those of you that are interested in these um, postings that I've been putting up um, and trying to give you value with my own personal experience with upbringing and education and um, job and um, career and, you know, being independent and single and all that great stuff. I know some of you follow me in that area and you know enjoy that so i have some updates for you all and some really interesting things to share with you all so i'm gonna leave you all that um 10 minutes in thanks again for tuning in um keep me in prayer most definitely